Hi everyone, this is Stani. So I'm going to do a reading. This is for Twin Flames. So we have the full moon. Basically the full moon energy is already here. It's June 24th in Capricorn. Check out my community tab. I'm doing a special for those that are interested. So I'm going to get right into this reading. So let's see, what's the Divine Masculine thinking about right now with this feminine? Oh my gosh, so what I was going to say is you guys might be having a lot of dreams with each other you have the star card here and this is all about wish fulfillment okay and destiny and this divine masculine is really feeling like you two are destined to be together like yeah this divine masculine is thinking about you as their wish and they want you, okay? That's what they're thinking about. What else is this divine masculine thinking? They want to be intimate with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the devil. But I'm not picking up bad energy. I'm picking up naughty thoughts. I didn't even like look at the card before I said they want to be intimate with you. So, yeah, we'll get more into that. This divine masculine is feeling despair right now because they're feeling like they're not abundant. They're feeling like they don't know what to do. Um, they're feeling really insecure. They might be going through major financial issues. This keeps coming up um, with this collective and like, okay, this is like the first collective I feel, but also this keeps coming out with the second collective, which is like the second wave of twins. Um, if you want to know more about that, check my Twin Flame playlist. So this Divine Masculine really is feeling like hopeless right now. Um, maybe you've been feeling sad. Maybe you've been feeling like you don't know what to do. Like you've been feeling weird feelings. You've been feeling um, empty energy. You're, I, you know, like... I can't diagnose, I'm not a doctor, but a lot of you are feeling your divine masculine, okay, and yeah, a lot of you have been having like weird dreams, Um, you've been feeling just off energy, like, okay, so this full moon in Capricorn is a really great time to release that though, and yeah, release that, so... How do you release it, you say? Well, you could take a salt bath. You could um, burn sage, you know. There's like all kinds of sage. This is like chakra for your chakras to balance out. There's, you know, Palo Santo. Okay, there's like all kinds of things. Incense. You could take a salt bath. But yeah, look, that's crazy. So... Your Divine Masculine is thinking about you, their wish fulfillment, you know, upright. And then here we have the star card in reverse. So this Divine Masculine is feeling despair with the world in reverse and the star in reverse. That's crazy. Um, you have alternate universes, basically. So basically... Um, this energy is really, really, really like energy that has to be released. So this Divine Masculine is in a state of hopelessness, okay? They feel like they can't do whatever. They feel like they can't, like, um, they can't manifest well, okay? This Divine Masculine is really not feeling good about themselves, they feel like nothing's working out. They feel like, look, the water's dirty. Like, yeah, they're not feeling well at all. But then you have the world upright. In the same row, you have 
the world in reverse, and then you have the world upright in the same row. So even though it's like he, he or she knows that they're not feeling good about themselves, but that at the same time, they feel like hope. They feel like, okay, maybe there could be hope with this. So they're feeling despair, but then they have hope at the same time because they have hope about this union and that's because you guys are marrying each other so there's a lot of marrying energy you know they're thinking about you and they're feeling happy because they're picking up your energy but then they're feeling hopeless but then at the same time they're feeling that they could go out you know travel to you they're feeling like they have opportunity with you they're you know at the same time they're not feeling good about their world but when they think about you they feel like there is a chance to make things work because you're projecting you know you're in your empress energy divine from for this collective so they're projecting what you're bouncing off and this is why i tell people it's really important to um project positivity because your divine masculine will feel that okay so what is the action that this divine masculine wants to take so they are wanting to rebuild the transformation card this is like death in reverse so they want to rebuild and fix things that happened okay they feel like Okay, they feel kind of stubborn, but then at the same time, they want to get rid of things because they're tired of feeling like this. They, they, they feel like, oh, I can't do anything, but they know that they have to transform. So this Divine Masculine really wants to get out of this feeling of down in the dumps, but they're just like, oh, I don't know what to do right now. But they're going to take action because you have the sun card. So they're definitely going to take action towards you, Divine Femme. And they're definitely looking to that bright light, which is you. You know, they're the, you're the sun to them. So they're like, okay, I'm going to be happy. And they're going to take action to you, which is their happiness. And there's going to be this rebirth with this connection, okay? And that is what they're going to do. They want to be expressive. So with the moon in reverse, look, it even looks like eclipse. So we've had two eclipses this month, June 2021. And there has been a lot of things eclipsed out, a lot of things brought to the light. And with this moon in reverse, the action is, you know, they're going to take action and express themselves. They're going to, like break all illusion all things that are not seeing clear and with the moon again you guys could be having dreams but with this i feel like the divine masculine is having nightmares like the universe is really pushing them to the divine femme right now so they're not really like um having the best of times like i said with the hero thing okay in reverse the universe is like, no, not yet. You have to get out of that energy before I allow you to go to your divine femme. So this divine masculine is not coming to you right now because they're not in a good place. They could be in a deep depression. You know, like I said, they're having like problems, but then they have this light that, okay, they can get out of it and they will go out of their way and they will um prove themselves to you they they have this opportunity waiting for them you know blessing but they just have to stop being you know a uh, debbie downer basically they have to get out of their mind which is going to help because um this full moon in capricorn during cancer season is going to be all about like the heart so before you know being in gemini season it made them like in their mind a lot but now it's going to be like opening up their heart chakra. So, yeah. So, let's see. What is this devil card about? Because remember, they're having naughty thoughts about you. They want to be intimate, with, like especially with the star, upright, and the devil card. Okay. What is this? Gosh, yes, the Knight of Swords. They want to rush in, okay? They want to rush in. Some of you might hear from your Divine Masculine within the next three weeks. 
because um yeah so somebody said is my readings timeless all my readings are timeless so whenever you come you know the, the message will resonate um so it's time to think things through sometimes you jump on an idea too fast it's best to make sure you pause before taking off things are moving at breakneck speed but as long as you let your brain lead you will soar intellect should accompany action so this is my masculine is tired of thinking though and they just want to break free to you so that is what the star card and the devil card is about you know they want to break free and run to this um intimacy oh i hear fireworks outside it's not even fourth of july here in america but you know people with the fireworks oh my gosh so there's this song uh fireworks with uh, this remix with Drake and Alicia Keys. Anyway, that's what I just thought of. And this fireworks going off. That is the energy that is going to be popping off with the divine masculine. Because notice, even though this masculine is feeling despair, again, you have the world card <laughs> upright and then the world card in reverse. So that's not going to stop them. Because the action they're going to take is towards you their happiness they're going to give you what you want there's going to be this rebirth okay there's going to be pregnancies and there's going to be a little rebirth but the universe is like hold your horses divine masculine because you cannot go towards the divine femme until you like break free from this obsessive energy this lust energy and um this victim energy because the universe is not going to let them like spoil your mood divine friend because you I don't know, they don't want the the divine masculine coming to you off balance that's the thing so you're like why am i here my divine masculine it's because the universe you know if something is not if the universe does not want something to happen yet it's going to be delayed you know not denied just delayed okay so let's see more into this what is this death in reverse about four of pentacles yeah this divine mass needs to stop being so stubborn and let go of the old thoughts and negativity and let go of um like anything like that is hindering and like again they are having money problems. They might be having money problems um, because they made bad decisions. And that's why they're like, oh, I can't even give her anything. And they're like being really negative. But like divine masculine, your divine friend just wants to talk to you. They don't want anything. They're not the karmics. They're not like trying to get all your money and stuff. They just want to have a conversation. Um, they love you unconditional. So... So this is you, Divine Femme. You're in your High Priestess energy. And there's secrets, though. Like, you're not even seeing this coming. What secrets wait to be uncovered? Who has the knowledge? Your message here is to look at all the possibilities and listen to your higher self. The riddle for today is how do you trust your own intuition? When you ask the right questions, you will find the answer buried in your own heart. So listen to your intuition. That is what I was saying. You guys are having dreams. You guys are having visions. Listen to those visions because they're guides. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Wands. So there is a victory coming, okay? There's something major happening here. And you're going to have a victory with the Divine Masculine, okay? It's going to work out. Um, you're going to you know conquer this situation the obstacles are gonna be gotten rid of okay and the action is going to happen from the divine masculine for this collective okay so you might get contact over social media also this divine masculine might be in the public eye for some of you or like a lot of people look up to them they might have like an important job they might have a lot of notoriety or people um this always comes out for this collective which i feel like this is the first collective because 
this collective, you guys could hear from your Divine Masculine within three weeks from watching this video, um, whoever this message is for. But yeah, some of you are going to hear from your Divine Masculine within three weeks because they want to come and crown you. This is marriage energy. They want to come and have this triumph. So this energy, I feel this bad energy, it's going to be released over the full moon. And then they're going to like be in this better... Like, I'm going to go after my opportunity energy. So let's get some romance card. If you want a reading, email me. And I am doing a special, so check my community tab which it's going to expire June 24th, midnight. So make sure you email me before. Um, if you see this after June 24th, midnight, I will make exception. So within a day. So forgive and learning. This is your Divine Masculine energy. They want to come and have this forgiveness with you. They want to release that energy. Oh my God. The retrograde energy is still happening. And I literally um, like <laughs> shuffled and all these cards came out, but I wasn't even taping. So I'm just going to go over it. Again, so this Divine Masculine wants to come and they want you to forgive them. They want to spend time with you, ignore the world. They're very attracted to you. They want to give the relationship a chance. They, um, are, they're going to want to want to work on the partnership and you're not going to see it coming, Divine Femme. They cannot stay away from you. This is like my Twin Flame card. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So definitely they're going to take action because they can't deal with themselves if they don't like they're not gonna be able to deal with themselves and they're gonna be like please forgive me and um yeah so get ready divine fam because this divine masculine is gonna finally open up and speak their truth with you okay so if you enjoyed this reading hit the like button because it does help other people see my video and if you don't like this reading, sorry you don't like it, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye!